Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to a new edition of Cashing In with Carville for October the 6th, 2022. Zach Ewing here along with James Carville, who is uh, red hot after last week's picks in college football in the NFL. Uh, f- I be- did, what was it? 4 0 and 2. We had two pushes, so I th- but I think he swept the other four. Well, it was two pushes. I thought it was. Bills I- minus three and Vikings minus three, I think. Well, oh. The, well, the Saints you pick automatically, of course. Yeah, yeah but there was the one. So you had five wins and just the one push on the Bills. Yeah. Five, oh, and one. We will take that ratio every week. <laughs> we'll, t- we'll we'll take a couple worse than that every week and go three and two and be happy. Yeah. What's the break? Uh, you number like fifty-four point three or something. Yeah, it's like fi- right between fifty-three and fifty-four percent. It's right it's between right three and fifty-four. That's where you break. break. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you can get your deal on, on, on the big. You know, you can beat the Yeah, I mean, if you can if you can beat the vig, you're you're doing a okay. Yeah. We got at least we got we got, we got to, to shoot that. <laughs> yeah, and it, by the way, it was also a very good weekend for LSU coming back, avoiding an upset at Auburn. Ooh, uh, I'm not for the coaches in, in the country. country. For the and, and everything, everything here, here is, is they're, 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 they're I mean, but yeah, you know, we, we fall behind this state, state 13 and nothing, and you find down 17 and nothing, all the road. I mean, you can't pull that shit. What do we got? And they certainly can't pull it Saturday against Tennessee. Um, the burning question around here is why is why is this Tennessee LSU game an 11 a.m. kickoff? Is that something that rankles you? Well, First, First of all, of all who doesn't want to see that round of the same thing? thing? Because you know that they're going to be in the first place. And then, and then uh, uh, who got, got the 2.30 home? It's Auburn and Georgia at 2.30. I, 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 I think it always is an interesting game. But, you know, you know we, we got that kind of TV contract. You can tell you it's 5 o'clock in the day. You tee it up. That's right. That's right. I, I hear the out play or whatever. whatever. Yeah, these guys are 19, 19 years old. old. They're so ready. They're so ready. They're so ready. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, thoughts on the game? Tennessee, number seven in the country. A, a stiff challenge for LSU this weekend. Uh, yes. And, and it's, it's a stiff challenge. And it's a really and important, important thing. thing. FTI. FTI. Something. Something. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. They think we're going to lose to Alabama for the year. Wow. Well, now, now that's, that's, <laughs> take, take that, that, you know, small box, four fifths, a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it, no one could have predicted the way the college football season has gone thus far anyway, and our first game to pick is actually a perfect example of that because the only game in the nation this week between two undefeated teams – Takes place in Lawrence, Kansas. It's it's the Jayhawks against TCU. TCU four and zero. Kansas five and zero. TCU though is is the favorite by a touchdown here. What do you think? TCU. I I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I never competed. Just just, just just you go, you go to the place and bet. You can't, can't do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, and as I mentioned in my column this week, Kansas has been actually outgamed in three of its five wins. So yes, they're five and zero, oh, but maybe an element of luck there. Um, we'll see. You know, no, no, nice nice guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oklahoma State. Mike Gundy. Yeah. Oklahoma State punches very well. If I just, Just to fly out at the National Championship, where then that'd be like 151. 151. And, and by the way, TCU, uh, if they should win this week, there's another battle of unbeatens next week against Oklahoma State. So yeah. um, the Big 12 has a, has a lot of teams with a, with a, a, a dog in the fight right now. So Yeah, yeah what a couple of them said was a yeah. year ago. Yeah, in Texas, Oklahoma, the two coming to the SEC, they actually play yeah. this week. And no one cares because both have been so bad. Right. Was it, is this the red 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 it is, yeah. At the Cotton <laughs> Bowl. 
you can go for the fried Twinkie, but the football won't be that great this year. All right, next game, um, completely different type of atmosphere. Two private religious schools, BYU at Notre Dame. Very interesting game, very interesting line here with the Fighting Irish who have lost a couple times this year. They're favored by three and a half. BYU. 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 They did take kind of years And they had Notre, Notre Dame for whatever Dame. reason. I mean, I mean all, all of the shots like, like, I, I asked for. We lost, lost to Florida, Florida State. State. There's, There's nothing, nothing more quiet in the United, United States, States than another right, right now. They, 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 they can rest there for more they run much. much. It'll be a good one, um, and, and actually a crucial one. The winner probably stays in the college football playoff picture. The loser is out. That would be – actually, that would be the third loss for Notre Dame. They may not be yeah, in it anyway. But, yeah. a college yeah. football playoff right uh, right now. but they could eliminate BYU, who, who has yeah. just the one loss. Right. And then the game you, you alluded to earlier uh, in Tuscaloosa, Texas A&M at Alabama. Uh, this line was like 17 back in the spring. Obviously, A&M has struggled. It's now 24 – uh, the health of Bryce Young, the Alabama quarterback, is a, a question mark, but uh, Alabama is still getting a lot of respect here. Get more from me. <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. They, 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 that's, That's about, about as cheap as you can get. I mean, he's got, got some, some one play, play in a bowl. bowl. Yeah, I mean, they just, just play. play. You got to be good in this SEC way. You, 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 you can be good in your game. I heard someone uh, refer to Jimbo this week as the rich Kevin Sumlin because <laughs> he's not producing <laughs> yeah, not producing any better results than Kevin Sumlin, but he sure does get paid. Yeah, he, he's not. If you look, if you look, look ahead, ahead, pretty, pretty good. good. No, you're you're right. The recruiting uh, the recruiting pretends better going ahead. Um, we we'll move on to the NFL, James. I want to get your reaction to the double doink, the infamous double doink in London. Where, where were you? What was? Uh, I mean, it's just almost unbelievable to watch. So, so, I, I am, am not, not by nature, nature much of a here. All right, and, and people, people in the world when it comes to the NFL, NFL are very, very much, much conspiracy. conspiracy. Yes, they are. And, I have, have said, come, come on, on. You know, yeah. do that. Now, now I'm less sure. <laughs> there's Tim Carl. Carl. Hey, that that Carl Carl was, was so bad. bad. The one on 100. That's what we talking about. The illegal hands to the face, yeah. That's oh, the one. He wasn't even in the picture to Never touched his face, only touched his shoulder pad. Right. Uh, the type of thing I, I said on our show on Monday – why isn't that reviewable? If you can review 12 men on the field, if he didn't touch his face, it can't be illegal hands to the face. But every, every NFL, NFL player, player should, should have, have one, one goal. goal. How, How do you, you the best, best way to turn the most bad And, and so somebody, you, you can't, can't tell me that they don't have an official in the booth and start out and call that. You, you, you boys need to have a look at that. How hard yeah, and, and, and it's, 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 it's ridiculous to lose a game over something with up, and it, it happens to us all the time. time. I mean, I mean that's, that's all the game. I'll, I'll never do that. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, so the Saints get the Seahawks this week. Pretty much a must win if you're going to make the playoffs. You can't drop to one and four, uh, especially facing a bad team at home. Saints are five and a half point favorites. Um, as we do every week, James automatically takes the Saints and LSU. So we'll get to our other games. First one out in L.A., Cowboys at Rams. Interesting here because the Cowboys have looked pretty good under Cooper Rush. They're getting four and a half out in Hollywood. That's not That's enough. Not, That's not enough. enough. We'll take the Rams, all right? Um, moving on, the NFL's only unbeaten team, another surprise. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. But they have a tough one. They go cross country to Arizona. It is the Eagles minus five. The Eagles are a lot. They're a lot. I take the Eagles. All right, another favorite. And then finally, on Sunday night football, uh, battle for the AFC North lead. The Ravens, who have played some insane games already this year against the Bills and the Dolphins, 
they now get the Bengals. They're at home as three-point favorites. You know, I think we'll take anything against Joe Burrow to scoop the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens. We will take the Ravens. All right. So they're a lot of three. Say that again. I, I, I'll, take I'll take the Ravens. Okay, we're taking the Ravens. So three favorites in the NFL um, and hoping to stay hot, James. Any any other picks uh, rattling around in your head? No, no I, 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 I don't think I'm not going to be official. But, 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 I'm but I'm here. here to, uh, just, uh, I mean, I mean it, that team, team it, 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 it's their third time college athlete, athlete, athlete in January. January. If 50 quarterbacks, if, if two, two freshmen, freshmen on, on offense, and, and the, 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 the schedule turned out, out to be really for us. They played that game, 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 we winning that game. All right. Didn't we? We had some kids to get the confidence in the state game. They good. They're good. Don't get to that. 13. That game is rough. You know, all of them are good on the road. They're going to one, one week, week. I think they're jelling with it. Yeah, I think they're going to have a good game. I really, I really, I really do. do. I don't, I don't want to keep it official, but I'm, 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 I got, I got some confidence. confidence. You got some good feelings. And, and by the way, no matter what happens, I think this week and the rest of the season, the future sure looks bright there. It, oh, can you can imagine? You know, you know we, we, we got maybe one of three best in the United it, 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 and it, you can, can be a really good coach, coach and you have a really good team, team and you struggle, struggle with C. West, West. Yeah. This is in you Oklahoma, know, not 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 down for very long. long. Right. I was just, I, 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 Texas might be, be the, the most, most underperforming football, football program, program, you know, you in know, the last, last 10, 10 years. years. But they'll get it going. I mean, they, but sooner yeah. or later. Yeah, I know. Every year is going to be it. I think so, unless they change it because of the uh, them coming yeah, to the SEC. But I do believe LSU uh, plays Texas at home next year. So uh, those, those are James Carville's picks for Week 5 NFL, Week 6 college football. Thank you, James. We'll see you next week. All right. Last week, we'll count that. Remember. No, but we could stay a little hot. Yeah, 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 be judicious. I'm not going to save you from poverty. poverty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, James.